All right, I gotta get this one. Okay, she just went in the library using her library card. To go get cleaning supplies to clean off the tables for her personal party. And this is how corrupt and arrogant they are. I have to sit outside and not have Wi-Fi. No, I don't have a problem with the kids having a party or even if she went to get, you know, I think she also went to go get a drink for the kids. I'm not a problem with that in a sense, but she gets to use library supplies for her personal party. I gotta get her coming back in with the stuff. If she does, maybe she just takes it home with her, you know, who knows. But, no, here she's gonna come. I gotta get this. Maybe she's just going to her car right now. But, <laughs> see, this is how corrupt Westminster is. The librarians get to use library supplies for their personal parties. Well, someone like me has to sit outside and not have any internet or anything. This is how corrupt and their little authoritarian total deal odds. There's no reason I can't use this library. There's no reason I can't sit outside and have a plug-in laptop. But that's how corrupt it's gotten is we got to shut all the power down. I got this library, head librarian, complete authoritarian fascist on video. We're not allowed to sit outside the library. This is how corrupt they are and how ultra selfish, but this is pretty standard procedure for Americans. We get everything. We get personal supplies. No, here it comes. I got to get it. Get her walking back into the library. Maybe she's not. She gets to go and grab, use the library for her own personal stuff all she wants. Well, I can't use any, I can't have any public services. This is just how corrupt they are here. And just how selfish Americans are. And I mean, in general. Just how ultra selfish it is. Everything's for me. You know, the rest of you, they need, they need to have... Americans are so selfish, so narcissist at best. They need to have the streets filled with homeless. Because they're like, I mean, their egos are even more just insatiable than their overweight bellies. And they can't stop stuffing their faces and being, you know, super overweight while they starve me. I have a genetic disorder. So I burn off calories twice as much as they do. So, and this is actual things you know doctors say to me I'm missing I'm down to, down to 130 pounds under 130 pounds I should be at a healthy body weight at six feet tall is 180 pounds nearly missing a third of my body weight and have, have had multiple in uh, you know a nurse helper lady do this to me you know I but down to 130 pounds at least you're not overweight doesn't matter if I'm starving to death you know at least you're not overweight like all the rest of us fat asses because that's all we think about is ourselves and, and they get off on it. They get off on starving people. Um, and like the nurse practitioner, you know, I, I was happy that it was up to 140 pounds. And she's like, I'm trying to get down to 140 pounds all happy about it. Like, yeah, I'm, you're five foot three and over 140 pounds. That's not healthy for you. I'm six feet tall trying just to be over 130 pounds on a regular basis and they are so selfish and so corrupt they just get off on it 